United States. So is prostitution. Are they real crimes? I don't think so. I think it's like prohibition when the uh, conservatives started that. It has no psychotropic value whatsoever. You'd have to smoke a ton, and even then you would only get a nausea effect. U.S. residents are allowed to import raw hemp, and many do. They turn it into clothing or ropes or paper, then sell it domestically. Canada, I hear. See, I, 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 had, I had made a statement. I said since uh, um, Justin Trudeau, since the a, a progressive took over Canada, you know, he uh, Canada should grow thousands and thousands of thousands of acres of hemp. But it turns out Canada does grow f some of the finest hemp in the world. Last year, the federal government began to allow some farmers to grow hemp in the United States for research purposes, as long as their home state has laws allowing it. Yeah, you got three states so far. Yeah. Gus Ciora said Congress could be encouraged to end the national ban on growing hemp as more states pass legislation to regulate it inside their borders. My only uh, problem with that is that if the, if the Republicans are involved in make in legalizing it, you can be sure that, that the, the genetically modified Monsanto hemp yeah. will be the hemp used. Yeah. And that's the problem. More than 20 industrial hemp producing countries worldwide each generate <coughs> millions of dollars in revenue selling everything from fabrics to personal care products made from one of the world's oldest crops oh yeah third world countries should most definitely grow lots of hemp the two bills would impose strict conditions on hemp farmers their plants would not be allowed to have a high concentration of tetrahydrocannabinol. So why not? Well, how do you THC. determine that? Isn't that natural to the hemp plant? Which is the psychoactive ingredient in marijuana. Oh, heaven forbid somebody should chill out in the corner with a joint. Oh, that would be so terrible. The legislation says the maximum concentration allowed would be 0.3% by dry weight. I mean, you're not, they shouldn't let people drive high on marijuana, naturally, but you know, if you're on your two feet, you know, and you wanna, you wanna relax, you know, what's the big deal? Usually they, usually they go off in a corner somewhere to relax. <laughs> well, but they don't hurt anybody. Like, That's what I'm saying. Like alcoholism, you know. Yeah, usually you, know, you don't get uh, you don't get problems with driving with it. it. It's very minimal, infinitesimal. Yeah, people uh, caught uh, driving right. with marijuana as opposed to to drinking too much right. blood alcohol. Okay. All right. No one with a criminal record would be eligible for hemp growing license. Every sale would have to be reported to the State Department of Agriculture. But if it's legalized, how would a criminal record uh, be detrimental to growing hemp? Well, they're not legalizing that. Oh, problem. it's very, very regulated. Yeah. In other words, it's a compromise with the Republicans. It's a bipartisanship legalization. Ah, that's horseshit. Ah, I don't like that. At least 20 states have enacted laws establishing programs to commercialize or research hemp. I'm surprised the state of Nevada hasn't joined Colorado, Washington, and Oregon in legalizing recreational marijuana because they have legalized prostitution in Nevada. So you would think Nevada well, being maybe it'll be around soon. They're hip on every you know, like uh, what was that, Jerovitol was banned in the uh, Vital? Yeah, the, the, remember the, that? the the youth thing. Like everything that is every anything that that works, <laughs> that's banned anywhere in the United States, 
they always run to Nevada, and Nevada, like, is real cool about it, and they let them practice there, and they let them, you know, do their thing there, you know, um, um, kind of like when people ran off to Mexico yeah. for that uh, uh, Laetrile. Cancer stuff, from yeah. The, from the apricot pit, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, Nevada has always been a cool state about that, and I'm surprised. I'm really surprised, being that they have prostitution, that it, they don't legalize the uh, recreational marijuana. You imagine how much money they would make for all the Californians that would be that would be driving on that highway that goes into Nevada? Yeah, and just imagine then how many tax cuts they could give to the rich. Hooker by crook, the rich will always, not will always, but seem to always. Uh, uh, not pay taxes. They're, they're all tax dodging uh, uh, cheats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, the richer you are, the the less you contribute to the to the country. <clears throat> New polls show Governor Christie rising in the Republican presidential field in New Hampshire. Rising where in the hot dog eating contest? Two. To the point where he is now battling two senators for second place. Yes, yeah, some some union, don't ask me why, is supporting Chris Christie. If that's like that's like the every union member shooting himself in the foot. Even while his job approval rating among New Jersey voters has sunk to a new low. Hey, com people complain about him constantly. And they re-elected him. Their, his a, first term, after his first term. A poll of New Hampshire Republicans released this morning by Boston Public Radio Station WBUR shows developer Donald Trump continuing to hold his lead, but Christie is in a neck-and-neck -neck battle for second with Florida. Senator Marco Rubio and Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Well, they're all they're all wackos, uh, you know. They're all they don't have there's no empathy or compassion for the poor with any of them. So it's like a toss up, you know. They're just one is just worse than the other. So no matter which one is ahead. But Ted Cruz could win in <coughs> Iowa because they're all religious nuts there that vote. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, you mean, oh, would you say Iowa or Ohio? Iowa. 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 The first place. The caucus in Iowa was the first place where they vote. You know, they really... In the caucus. They, they, I think they go nutty because they really don't have any nightlife there or any social life. I mean, what do you do? You... you go to a, a barnyard hoedown uh, or you watch the corn grow and, uh, you know and uh, I mean get lost in a corn maze yeah crop circle yeah. go out and make phony crop circles at night you know with a, with a plank of wood and uh, what do you there's nothing to do out there so you know there's well, only the there's, last, not, uh, there's not a lot of people so you know you, 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 you know it's hard there's not a lot of sexual partners out there, you know, I mean, it's... Well, in the last two uh, elections, uh, Santorum won in there and Huckabee. The religious nuts. That's what they go for. So, yeah. Ted Cruz has a chance in our life. You know, it's not like where we live, you know, there's just so much, so much available to do. Well, you know. not too much anymore in New York City because it's what costing happened? you fifty dollars to go over the bridge. The GW, the George Not Washington Not the GW, bridge. one day the other one or the other ones. Fifteen dollars. Can't think of any more. <coughs> Can you believe that? It's got to be. The GW has to be involved. <coughs> Possibility, but I it, it was talk about the other one. The Lincoln Tunnel was raised too. No, I don't hear about the tunnel. The bridges. The one bridge. Fifteen dollars. That's the New Jersey side that charge you. That's correct. I let 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 you come back out for free. You you, yeah, you can come home for free. Yeah. That's the New York side. Right. Because 
nobody wants to pay to go to Jersey. <laughs> but they but they're exploiting people for going into Manhattan, New York City, because they know that it's a tourist trap, Midtown Manhattan, and 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 that a lot of people go for recreation, and uh, they're exploiting it. The politicians are exploiting it, and well, otherwise and they got to take it from the taxes of the rich. They, they yeah, you wouldn't want them to do that, would you? All of their revenue is coming from yeah. the little guy. Yes, the middle class and the poor. Yes. Heaven forbid Chris Christie should tax his rich buddies. The poll taken Sunday through Tuesday, when Trump's call for barring Muslims from entering the country dominated the news, found Trump with 27%, followed by 11% each for Christie and Rubio, 10% for Cruz, 7% for former former. Florida Governor Jeb Bush. Oh, the guy that Trump accuses of being as asleep at the uh, podium. Low energy. Low energy. Well, he's, a, he's just, low energy. just a laid back guy, you know. I mean, he's not a nervous wreck like Donald. And 6% each for retired neurosurgeon Ben Carson and Ohio Governor John Kasich. The rest of the crowded field polled no higher than 3%. A pack that Christie was mired in as recently as September, a WBUR poll taken November 14th to 15th showed Christie beginning to move, with him tied for sixth place at 5%. I wonder if Ben Carson uh, is it was is voluntarily retired from neurosurgery or was he forced to retire from uh, neurosurgery? <laughs> With all this shit that he's you know been wrong about and crap and talking about, I doubt if he was or had the gifted hands. I wouldn't let him operate on me, as his book says, gifted hands. Oh. Autobi autobiographical book? Of course he's going to say that. Hands of gold, gifted hands. That's what my relatives would say about um, a surgeon that they love. Like there was this plastic surgeon. He wasn't all that, but they all bragged, you know, oh, he has hands of gold. He has hands of gold. Yeah, because you're paying him. <laughs> he's investing in gold. Christy also made security in a major part of his campaign message following the mass killings by terrorists in Paris and San Bernardino. He routinely stresses his experience as a federal prosecutor who took office shortly after 911 attacks and used counterterrorism tools such as the Patriot Act in prosecution. Christie's rise in New Hampshire comes as his poll numbers in New Jersey have declined. Wasn't Chris, Chris Christie involved in that, that big roundup of all those corrupt mayors in New Jersey that were arrested and removed from office? Remember that? Yeah, no, he wasn't. Oh, okay. Why, they can't even get him on the George Washington Bridge thing yet. <coughs> no, no, Please. I mean... I mean, I mean, uh, they, they, all over the state, I mean, they just rounded up all these mayors yeah. that were really corrupt. Uh, uh, of course, some of them were from Hudson County. <laughs> they got two new in New York now, Silver, uh, Silver and uh, Skelos. Skelos uh, extorted uh, uh, a company or something, $300,000 or something, get his, his son a job. Crony capitalism. Yeah. What about Charlie Rango? That nothing. He slid by that uh, little uh, debacle. Yeah. Using taxpayers' money for personal reasons. Ever since Christie announced his official 2016 run, he has received his lowest ratings as governor. Even lower than in the year. 
post bridge gate, a Rutgers Eagleton poll released on Thursday found just 33% of registered voters in New Jersey approve of Christie's job performance, the lowest level since he took office in 2010 and a six-point decline since October. Some 62% disapprove. When asked their general opinion of Christie, just 33% of voters had a favorable view. Christie's 33% favorable rating matches the rating Democratic Governor John Corzine got in an Eagleton poll in October 2009. Yeah, a, a, a billionaire Democrat, the, the, John Corzine, the, those two uh, facts just don't go together. A month before Christie defeated Corzine's bid for re-election. Corzine's unfavorable rating, however, was a lower 45% at that time. And in October 1993, just before Democratic Governor Jim Florio was defeated, Eagleton found a combined 45% of voters had a very favorable or somewhat favorable view of Florio. He, he rarely smiled. He was like Jack Lord from Hawaii Five-0. Florio, I remember him. The latest poll found that among New Jersey Republicans and Republican-leaning voters, Christie ranks second in the presidential field with 14 percent, while Trumpy leads with 30 percent. Well, these are the people from New Jersey that are just natural-born assholes. You know, we have plenty of them. Christie's presidential support among Garden State Republicans was just 5% in an October poll, but it was as high as 41% in August 2014. The new poll said 13% of New Jersey Republicans support Rubio, 10% back Cruz. Okay. And all other candidates are in single digits. Ted Cruz, the guy that looks like he's taking a big shit with his hands up in the air with his eyes squinting. <laughs> his mouth open. <laughs> Rubio is merely a young punk. No, I'm talking about Cruz. Oh. Yeah. You know, the, the, that face he puts on, like he's praying. He's praying all right. Like God hears you more when you look like you're constipated and your hands are up in the air. Bush, who was in Bergen County last week, really? raising money, got only 2%. Oh. Christie returns to the Granite State this weekend to hold town hall style meetings tonight and on Saturday morning. He will also <laughs> campaign with the majority leader of the State House of Representatives this afternoon. New Jersey Senator Cory Booker is also going to New Hampshire on Saturday to campaign for Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton. Oh, God. Really? He's a corporatist. You know, the, fun, the thing about Cory Booker, he's like a young version of Barack Obama. The thing about Cory Booker, when he was mayor of Newark, ever since he, like, had this, like, meeting private meeting with Chris Christie mm -hmm. and all of a sudden he started closing all these schools left and right. Well, because they want voucher system. In, in Newark, Charter Newark schools. New Jersey. Yeah. They don't want the public school. Yeah, some Democrat he is. He, he might be one of those uh, CPAC taker uh, Democrats. That's why he's campaigning for Hillary, really. Glad you told me that. I'll never vote for this man. Booker is a Democrat from Newark. He will canvass voters for Clinton in two towns and join a phone bank effort in a third. Sell out. Sell out Democrat. 
Christie and Booker are not scheduled to be in the same towns at all. Corporatists. Shame on you, Cory Booker, for campaigning for that witch. Among New Jersey Democrats, Clinton has 60% support, followed by 19% for Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. Idiots. And 1% for former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley. Now this poll is is for coming from mainstream news. Rutgers. Oh, this is coming from Rutgers. Eagleton poll. Oh, really? Uh, you know what? Of only 843 Interesting. New Jersey adults. Okay? I think a lot of these are feminist, man-hating women that just want a female in the White House. Um, uh, there's no, if you are a well-read person, you would realize and you would see that uh, Hillary Clinton is a uh, corporatist and uh, uh, she, uh, she, she wants students to pay off their student loan. She doesn't, she wants to keep everything privatized, you know, she doesn't want single-payer universal health care, things like that, nice things like Bernie Sanders wants. Uh, uh, free, you know, uh, free public education. No, Hillary's not for that. So, she's not re uh, progressive at all. Never retreat. Always march forward into your own fantasy world. Avante, forward, right? I think that's what Avante means. Where even your enemies love you. What the hell? I thought Trump's driving force was to satisfy his insatiable need for brand name recognition, which he will then monetize. Yeah, a translated into insatiable need to inflate his ego. That was his campaign until two weeks ago. His ego gratification needs may already be fulfilled. Phase two is to get out of having to take a cut in pay and added responsibility by becoming president. See, he feeds on the publicity, whether it be infamous or not. Donald Trump feeds on every, everything that puts him in the mainstream news. But he still can't retreat. His bombast must increase until it is intolerable. He may portray himself as a heroic martyr for leaving just Governor Scott Walker of Wisconsin, as Governor Con uh, Scott Walker of Wisconsin Thank did. God. Trump may place his mantle over the broad shoulders of Senator Ted Cruz. Broad shoulders? With whom he shares a pact of mutual admiration. What? Donald yes, Trump so likes far they haven't Ted Cruz? Cruz has not hit him yet. Cruz is, is scared to death to hit Donald because Trump. Because he wants Trump's people. If anything happens to Trump. They're all afraid of Trump. Trump gets out. They're all afraid of Donald Trump in, in a yeah. debate. But, uh, you know, uh, I hear that uh, mu uh, Muslims that Donald Trump used to do business with are boycotting Donald Trump. <clears throat> now. Now. What, what are the Chinese going to do? When he wants his wall, he wants them to pay for it. Chinese. Yeah, you don't think he's doing business with the Chinese? You'll have the Chinese build a Come wall. Come on, man. So if the Mexican, if Mexico won't pay for the wall, which they won't, they'll laugh in his face, which I agree, I, uh, I would laugh in his face too. He might get the uh, mainland China to build a wall? No, he's, he's, he's got many businesses. Yeah. And nobody in this world today is not doing business with China in some way, some fashion. Yeah, they just, okay? they just got the manpower to do it cheap. So he's uh, obviously doing that. That's the only reason why they they made China the, the great economy it is today is because they have the manufacturing might. The, 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 they because have, we buy their stinking products. No, they have the population to make the products right. cheap, cheap. Which we buy. Right, even food. They, the chickens are going over there to get processed. That's right, and then they're going to come back here. 
Son of a bitch. Now, man. now the Chinese are, are mixing some kind of plastic grains of fake rice in, yeah. with, in with their real rice. Well, they put the malamine in the cat food and the dog food and all this shit. They're trying to put poison it. Uh, they got no no pollution controls. Yeah. So they got all this shit, arsenic and everything else oh. in the food. Speaking, it is speaking of pollution, Beijing's air pollution is worse oh, than terrible. ever. Terrible. Worse than ever. And they're and they're and they're exploiting the people by charging them more money for the for the masks. Just to leave your house. Just to leave your house and be able to breathe, you have to pay more and more money for the gas mask. Oh my God! Holy! Whatever happened to the Mao Zedong uh, 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 government? The I mean, system there. Or they're exploiting their own people. No kidding. You know what the hell is it paying them thirteen cents a day or whatever? An hour? You know what that reminds me of? Putting plastic grains of rice in with the real rice. Spiller. That, that reminds me of the. Um, on the food channel or one of these channels the guy says oh I import the finest cocoa grown in Central America I forgot which country it was it was in Central America and and they found a lot of stones in the sack mixed in with the cocoa beans of course it's it, 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 they gotta weigh it don't they and you know what he, and it. you know what they told them the Central Americans told them and, and the jerk accepted it they said um Oh, it is it is it is a natural occurrence to find stones mixed in your cocoa beans. My ass! They put them there to make <laughs> to incre to to rip off the Americans to increase their profit. Mm -hmm. So they're pulling a a uh, fast one. They're pulling a a capitalist a scam over on the Americans, and this jerk. For some reason, won't tell it like it is on the air. The Iowa caucuses are fast approaching, as is the need to travel in areas with snowfalls. It's now time to get out. Switch the rhetoric from promises that can't be fulfilled to false but verifiable historical facts. Say something nearly every Republican will denounce. Exclude all Muslims. But apparently even that's not enough. What can he say next to show even bolder independence? Well, he's like that, uh, that fascist saying, you know, he came for this group, but it didn't bother you because you're not one of them. And then he came for the other group, it didn't bother you because you're not one of them. Then eventually he came for you. And there was no one to bother about me. And there was no one else to help you. There was no one left to, to save you. You know, uh, oh, so the caucuses, the, isn't that the beginning of the primaries? Yes. And they start. Three months from And now. they always start, they call it America's Heartland, Des Moines, Iowa, 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 I think. Iowa. Iowa, but the, 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 the main city is, is, is Des Moines, I believe. Des Moines. Yes. Yeah, the, the heart, they call it the Heartland. Three months from now. The caucus. Yeah. So that's when they're really going to hammer at each other. When the caucuses start. Well, that's when the people are voting. These debates, hey, there's a debate on Tuesday. They watch it. The mm -hmm. Republicans. Oh, this Tuesday. And then Tuesday. I think Saturday is the Democratic. Let me ask you a question. Is, uh, this is, Tuesday. Is yeah. the uh, very ugly, pointy-faced Carly Fiorina still in it? Or, or no? As far the, the last thing I saw is she's down at 